The following is a continuation of my reflections after the annual eparchial clergy gathering in May. When Jesus told the disciples they were to be fishers of men, he was speaking to all of us, each according to our individual vocation. At one time, we were willing to relegate the obligation of saving souls to the bishops and priests. We have corrected that to realize the participation of all the faithful, but may now overlook the special role of the clergy. The initiative using this image is to motivate the clergy and monastics to become actively involved in inviting others to lifelong ministries. Our discussion allowed us to put our vocation to the priesthood or the diaconate into a proper perspective. Although the priests and deacons are not alone in this effort, they are the leaders and become icons and symbols of the commissioning of Christ to draw all people to God. The clergy, especially the priests, have had many calls to minister to those who realize challenges to help. There is no substitute for experience to develop skills in this ministry. Father Joseph Marquis's presentation reminded us of how important it is to relate to the one requiring ministry as a person, a beloved of God. In relating experiences, he demonstrated how our best service will be to share the love of God. Sometimes the ministry of the priest or deacon seems to be undervalued. It was good to remind each other of our place within the body of Christ. Because Deacon John Petrus is a medical doctor, many of us expected that his presentation would relate the medical community's expectation of the clergy. Instead, he directed us in a theological reflection on suffering, the result of humanity's sinfulness. From his vantage point of medicine, he helped us rediscover the churches and in particular the clergy's responsibility to place the love of God for the forgiveness of sins into the healing process. His Socratic style of providing questions for reflection allowed the clergy to consider spiritual and theological topics of evil and suffering, among others. Although the content of the presentation was beneficial, I believe the opportunity to relate to each other in a theological reflection was even more so. Preaching is surely an opportunity to share the faith but such informal conversation allows us to share our faith.